Well, good morning. Um, I'm glad that you could make it with us this morning. And uh, I just want to ask the Lord to bless each one of us this morning. And also just to remind people that um, we still need to be checking up, make sure people are well and make sure that people have all that they need. Um, and together we are a family and let's not forget that we are a family. Um, today is my uh, my wedding anniversary and I sort of suddenly realised this morning that um, we've been together for eight years uh, married and um, quite a wonderful feeling. <laughs> uh, and you know but every one of us are family um, and today as we join together let's just praise God and remember he is with us and he is in control that today is his day um, it's not just a Sunday but today is God's day every day is God's day and God is in control. Uh, we feel perhaps that we're not very much in control being locked down, but God is in control. So let's begin. If you've got your sheets, then uh, do join in. The Lord is good and a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust him. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Let's just pause and reflect on God. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen, yes. Set our hearts on fire with love for you. Wouldn't that be a wonderful feeling if we could just feel that? hearts on fire that real burning passion inside um as that's what jesus wants for us for us all to have that burning passion that desire to pass on his message so i'm going to read uh, psalm 23 um it's one of my favorite psalms i suppose it's most people's favorite psalm in many ways uh it just says, or does what it says on the tin, as they say. It, it is just right. The Lord is my shepherd. Therefore can I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me, and your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before my enemies, and you have anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full, and running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Great words, wonderful words. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And uh, now this morning, I want to just read with you 
Matthew 24. And I'm going to start at verse 30. Matthew 24, verse 30. And I'm reading from the uh, Living Bible. Yes, not the New Living Bible, the Living Bible. Verse 30. And then at last the signal of my coming will appear in the heavens, and there will be deep mourning all around. And the nations of the world will see me arrive in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And I shall send forth my angels with the sound of a mighty trumpet blast. And they shall gather my chosen ones from the farthest ends of the earth and heaven. Now learn a lesson from the fig tree. When her branch is tender and the leaves begin to sprout, you know that summer is almost here. Just so, when you see all these beginnings to happen, you can know that my return is near, even at the doors. Then at last, this age will come to its close. Heaven and earth will disappear, but my words remain forever. But no one knows the date and hour when the end will be. Not even the angels. No, nor even God's Son. Only the Father knows. The world will be at ease. Banquets and parties and weddings, just as it was in Noah's time, before the sudden coming of the flood. People wouldn't believe what was going to happen until the flood actually arrived and took them all away. So shall my coming be. Two men will be working together in the fields, and one will be taken, and the other left. Two women will be going about their household tasks, one will be taken, and one left. So be prepared, for you don't know what day your Lord is coming. Just as a man can prevent trouble from thieves by keeping watch for them, so you can avoid trouble by always being ready for my unannounced return. Are you a wise and faithful servant of the Lord? Have I given you the task of managing my household to feed my children day by day? Blessings on you if I return and find you faithfully doing your work. I will put such faithful ones in charge of everything I own. But if you are evil and say to yourself, My Lord won't be coming for a while yet, and begin oppressing your fellow servants, partying and getting drunk. Your Lord will arrive unannounced and unexpected and severely whip you and send you off to the judgment of the hypocrites and there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Quite a, quite a passage. Quite a passage. Um, coming about this sort of time shortly before Jesus was to be crucified and he was telling people to be ready to be ready sometimes uh, we just get taken away with the things that are happening around us and we perhaps forget those warnings we forget the fact that Jesus did say to us be ready uh, you know do not know when when I come you do not what know what uh, what time it will be yes some of the words can be frightening um, you know one person will be left and, and one person go but unfortunately that is what was said but we can make a difference in that it's it's our job to tell others about Jesus it's our job to encourage others in the faith to encourage each other in the faith because God wants us to be on fire on fire for him so let's remember those those words um, and there is comfort at the end because it says I will put 
in their hands all the things they will do for me you know ah oh, thank you god let's join together in prayer as we think particularly at this time of uh, coronavirus or COVID or whatever um, and it seems to have been quite a long while I know yesterday in particular I felt uh, this has been going on too long but we have to stay firm and we have to stay indoors <laughs> but we have to stay ready um, for those times and it's great just to look after each other so let's pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order in us all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to pray this morning for, for Boris Johnson as our leader, the leader of this nation. And Father, we just lift Boris up before you and all those in authority, Lord. We ask that you would protect them and enable them to do the task with which they are commanded. Lord, we pray too for our leaders in the church. We pray for Bishop Paul, Bishop Sarah, for our archdeacons. And Lord, we pray for each and every church family at this time. We thank you, Lord God, that so many are entering new ways of, of worship and bringing their people together. We thank you for, indeed, for this method of Facebook that we can use now. We just thank you, Lord God, that you are in control. Lord, we bring to you those who, who we know are sick, whether it is from a disease or complaint that is not COVID, but Lord, whatever their illness, Lord, at this time we lift them up before you. We ask for their protection, Lord God. And Father, at this time too, we pray particularly for those who do not have enough, that do not have shelter, that are in terrible financial straits and feeling so worried, so depressed. Lord God, we thank you for all of those who are providing food. We thank you, Lord God, that for those who are working in St Andrew's Food Bank, and in those around, those food banks around us, Lord God. And in those personal and sacrificial giving that is going on, Lord God. Father, we thank you. We bless you, Lord God. And Father, we pray too for those who are depressed, Lord God. Father, those who are finding this time a real struggle, Lord God. Father, help us to uh, to notice people who are struggling. And Lord God, we ask that any who are struggling would ask for help. Father, we know it's 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 not a strong thing to do to battle on by yourself. The strong thing to do is ask for help. Thank you, Lord, that you have put each one of us in place to, to help each other and those around us. So Lord God, we uh, 
we just ask you to keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy, in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and the fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And now... Let us all join together, if you have the sheets there, or if you can rack your memory to maybe school days or church, let us join together in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So, the Lord bless us, and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you so much for being with us. And pray that the rest of your day is good. Fill it with good things. And take care until the next time we meet. Amen.